Hey guys, Mr. Aircraft here, and today I have these two huge Lego airplanes that I need to show you. So first off, let's go with this passenger plane. So this passenger plane came with a terminal and everything, but I don't have the terminal with me right now. So for now, we just got the plane. There was originally a big space for cargo back here, where you could store a car. But if you want to store the stairs in there, you'd have to completely demolish it. But that cargo door feature is not there anymore. I removed it because um, it wasn't that realistic. Like, it was cool, but it just wasn't realistic. And so I put the cargo door piece in here. Except it did not have that number 4439 on it. That was originally on here. But I thought that looked weird on this plane. So I took it out and put it on there. So that way if I can find any spare Technic pins or cargo door roof pieces, I can just check there. And yeah. Oh my. Alright, I need it to get brighter. So, sorry guys, something's wrong with my phone. Ugh. You can skip this part if you want. Oh. There we go, there we go, nice. Oh, too bright. Way too bright. And I think that's good. All right. Oop, still too bright. Okay, there. So um this thing my mom bought it for me a while ago from Target. You guys can pick this thing up at Target, but uh, apparently it's super expensive. It's $100. And uh, over here, can remove the nose. Hopefully not, um, knocking the pilots out of their seats. So here we go. Oh my god, that is too bright. You can skip this part. Okay, there we go. So, um, over here's a flight yoke, two throttles, another flight yoke. And, uh, yeah, some instruments. Same old. Didn't change anything except for the fact that now there's a co-pilot. The set only came with a captain, and it didn't have a co-pilot. So you can remove the roof, that's still the same as it was, attached onto there by three studs, just here, here, and here, didn't attach onto here, but uh, yeah, that's okay. So over here, the flight TV screen, I moved it to the side a bit, so now it's uh, to the side for the passengers to see, now the flight attendant cart, just over here, and then the flight attendant over here, he's chilling. This originally had a flat piece over here with no windows on it. Then I added two windows because so um a flight attendant can look out. And um, over here on the side, if there's something on the side, it has to be over here. Except for the door, it doesn't have to. You can make an exception for the door. I made an exception for the door. Now over here, there's um four um economy class passengers. There's this guy here who looks like he's going on vacation. This guy traveling with his baby. And this girl who's um, a, pop star, a rock star or something. And just some regular guy. Just going on a trip or something. Now over here we've got um, first class. Now over here there's a, um, a famous pop star that came with the Lego set. And this guy, now this guy over here is... um. The guy who sounds like me in all the videos where, um, Mr. Accent, which is, uh, this guy, he crashes all the planes. So, uh, yeah, make sure to go check out those videos. Uh, Mr. Accent always crashes the plane at the end. And, um, this guy, um, gets mad at him and that's why I put the angry face on him. So, yeah, now you can, if you hear any background noise, that's just my mom and grandma arguing. So, uh, yeah, over here you can remove this, and over here there is business class. This is, um, someone who looks like she's getting down to business, um, a businessman, a business, another businesswoman. This guy's a police officer, another police officer. Oh, he took the seat with him. I hate it when that happens, like, when you try to take a minifigure out of their seats and then the seat comes out with it. Kind of annoying, but happens all the time, sadly. So, uh, I'm gonna put them back. And, yeah, this 
this if you're wondering what this big hump is it's from the wing piece like the wing piece goes from here all the way to here but you get to add on the engines and these little winglets on the side it's a really huge piece, but I'm guessing it's just so it's easier for the younger builders to um, get to know Lego. So, uh, yeah. Now, over here, the restroom. Uh, the restroom is super small, and I barely had room to put the sink in here, so I didn't. The sink is out here instead, with uh, hot water and cold water. I remember they did something like this in the past for a uh, set 60104. The... Passenger terminal set. Yeah, that was really cool. And uh, now it's over here on this plane, too. And um, I think I did a review on this thing a while ago. Make sure to go check it out. I think it should be on my YouTube channel. Like, I, yeah, it should be on my YouTube channel. So click on my profile picture and then scroll down through the videos and you may or may not see it. It says, Lego, it's called Lego City Airplane 60262. So, yeah, if you're wondering, there are stairs here. I don't know what I'm doing with it. But, uh, yeah. Alright. So, I didn't modify those stairs. Uh, they're still the same as they always have been. And the door, too, I didn't modify that at all. But, um, I did do some modifications on the bottom of the plane, too. Because over here is stored luggage. But, um, instead I replaced it with some seats. And so now it stores luggage on the bottom. And I'll show you how I managed to pull that off. Let me just add this here. But you're gonna have to remove the tail to get to the bottom of it. And this should not get removed. For some weird reason. Wait, no. It's not supposed to be removed. This. Even though it could get removed easily. It's only attached onto there by like four studs or something. So now here, we've got the landing gear. The landing gear was originally like this. And uh, it didn't have... Like, it was just like that. And that wasn't... And that wasn't balanced. So like when you wanted to go in a takeoff position or something, like... It'd be kind of hard to balance on this wheel. So, um, yeah, I moved it back a stud so I can add uh, this to this big square piece. There's this big square piece over here that has holes for Technic pins, which connects to these. And it connects to these here. And, uh, yeah, no, sorry it's getting bright. It's just the brightness on my phone is so uncontrollable. Let me just... Move the landing gear back to its original version. What? No, not back to... That's its original version, but... This is my version. I like my version better. You can open this. And this is luggage. I did the best I can do. Don't judge me. This is uh, how I did it. I just used these little bricks. One by two bricks. I just used those. Because I didn't have a lot of those luggage pieces. The set did come with two, but um, the green one was super big, but the black one was um, small enough to fit in here, so the black one is deep down inside there. So yeah, let me just get these things aligned. Maybe I should put them together. You guys can skip this part if you'd like. Or not. Right now I'm just trying to... Get it back on there. So yeah, now I'm gonna put it back in here. Alright. I'm gonna put this here. And this here. And uh, there. That's my, that's the modifications to the 60262 plane. So yeah, I reattached the tail. That one detached in my last video when um, Mr. Accent wanted to crash it because he was applying too much rudder and all that rudder he was applying, just the tail just couldn't take it anymore and it just detached and then some g-forces sheared the engines off and then the plane hit the ground. It was a nightmare to rebuild but I managed to do it.
Because I always rebuild my planes after Mr. Accent destroys them. So yeah, now we move on to the cargo plane. Now I better put it on flatter terrain. So that way, um, so like uh, that way, the vehicles will work a lot better. Here's all its cargo. That's why it's called a cargo plane. This space over here from here to here is wasted. But I can understand why a Lego did that. This is not how the Lego set originally was. It had more color. But like when I first got it as its Lego set, the space here from here to waste was wasted. But I can understand why because um, I don't know how you can get access to there. So uh, here is um, a conveyor belt. And here's um, the forklift. The original conveyor belt from uh, this set, it did look like this, except um, e except um, this conveyor this specific conveyor belt piece is from um, the passenger terminal set six zero one zero four. That's uh, passenger uh, terminal set from twenty sixteen. Uh, I got in twenty seventeen on Christmas, but uh, yeah, and um, the the terminal got destroyed by my friend's little brother. So um, I just used the conveyor belt from that set on this one because the conveyor belt from the original set was just um, broken. Because uh, this piece here, because this piece, because um, there's like this uh, big rubber piece, this, and, um, and uh, somehow it got, it broke, and then, I, and then it got completely removed, and I, and then I just decided to use this instead. So yeah, now let me just reattach this here. Maybe a bit hard, but no it's not. Yes, it is very hard. Let me just do a quick little search. See if I can find something. Oh, wait a minute, no. It would take a while. I'll do it after I finish filming. So I'm here. You can open. It has three cargo doors. But for the one in the back, you remove this piece. And you're not supposed to remove the tail. Even though you can if you want to. But I don't want to. So now I'm just going to open that up. This thing clips right into here. And so yeah, that's how it opens. And I can only think of one cargo plane in real life that uh, has a cargo door like that and that is the Boeing Dreamlifter which is like a 747 but with a bigger fuselage and carries parts of other planes that Boeing transports so yeah but this is not a Boeing Dreamlifter this is um just a Lego cargo plane so um the reason I put it on flatter terrain is because I was filming on a bed this is um uh, yeah and uh, the forklift doesn't work too well when it's on a bed, so that's why I'm doing it down here. So yeah, now I'm going to, um, the forks just slide right under there. Okay, yeah, let's do it over here instead of on the carpet. And let's have this over here, so that way, like, the forks won't slip away. There, like that. And I can move it back a little bit so it doesn't fall. And you can just, wait a minute, it's supposed to be this way. Wait a minute, no. This is supposed to, okay. This is supposed to load in first. So I'm just gonna put that in there. No, this is a weird forklift design, but um, I did the best I can do with the pieces I had. And this thing, and now this thing goes in here. Well, in here I just store grill pieces. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, yeah, there's the grill pieces. It has it in all four of these containers. Oh, wait. Oh, these fell out. Now, in this one, it should have it. Yep. So, I'm just going to put that back. Okay, that jet engine does not look like it's attached onto there very well. So I'm going to reattach it. Wait a minute, didn't install it correctly. Alright, there we go. I don't think I installed it correctly, but actually I did. Nice. So, 
Now I'm gonna put this here. And uh, this, and um, if you're wondering what that stud right there is for, it's for people to open this cargo door from the inside. So uh, yeah, could have loaded that with the forklift, but didn't want to waste time. Oh shoot, it's supposed to go in the other way around. There we go. So yeah, I think this is supposed to just go to the side like that. Because if it goes too much to the side, then the plane will tip over. So, just like that. Now, um, the, the forklift, wait, yeah, the forklift is going to come in and pick this up. The rubber band puts a lot of force on it, but I don't care. This is the best they can do. And, yeah, you might need to tip that back so it doesn't, um, so that way it doesn't slip off. I'm just going to, wait a minute, it's supposed to be like this, so that way the tall box doesn't hit some of the roof pieces over there. So now I'm just going to add this into here. Oh yeah, this thing is opening too much. I'm going to close it for now. Actually, no, I'm going to need it open right now. So I can have actually have access to it. So this piece here, I'll just... Put the forklift off to the side and this piece off to the side. Or if I or since I, or if I don't want to lose it, I'll just put it here. And let's have this only opened up like that. Oh wait, we need the forklift still. Yeah, this goes right under there. Ooh, jeez. Alright, let's just pretend that didn't happen. And that the forklift successfully picked it up. And let's just put that in there. And let's push it in with the forks a little. Now let's um, close this. And move this. And move this piece back a stud so that way it totally secures the cargo door. But we still have some extra cargo left. And the conveyor belt hasn't been put to good use yet. So, now over here, we're going to put the conveyor belt to good use. Move this thing out of the way. Now, let's add three boxes. And one, two, and three. Now, let's, ah. All right, so now there's something supporting it on the back. Now we'll just push that there. You may or may not want to have someone in there to, um, make it uh to load it in neatly but um i don't want to waste time so i'm just gonna put all three of them in there i'm gonna put them in neatly if i can there we go now let's move that conveyor belt out of the way so uh yeah now your plane is ready for takeoff i have some custom jet engines this landing gear design was um originally with the set, but um but uh, it was a but the colors were a bit different. But uh yeah, these uh slope pieces on the side, those were um originally that way. And the landing gears were gray. Now here's a nose gear, has a light on it. So yeah, that's this plane. And this, and when I got the six zero zero two two set, which is the cargo plane set, it came with a control tower. Except it was a little shorter, but I made it taller. I made my own design taller. And yeah, so there's some um, this radar thing on top. And yeah, so these are my two planes. But um, before I stop the video. There's something I want to do with these two planes, but I might need to remove the landing gear so it doesn't get damaged when I do it. You guys, this is, so this is something Mr. Accent does in a lot of my videos. Oops. Here we go. And, and now let's do this one. Wait a minute, we should remove the landing gear first. And now let's do it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!